Hello everyone, uh, my name is Kamaljit Kumar. Today we will learn password hacking and cracking. Today we will learn three tools within Kali Linux and two techniques to crack and uh, break into the passwords. Right. So let's uh, deep dive into this. Okay. So uh, I have my Kali Linux box open. So right now today we have two public IPs, right? So I believe uh, most of people from you guys uh, tackle passwords every, every day, right? So uh, if, if we talk about, you know, social media accounts, if you're a technical guy, then you're mostly, it's, it's probably you, 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 uh, you know, met with passwords like SSH, Telnet, FTP passwords and, and RDBs, right? So today uh, we will exploit or we can say we will try to break the password of SSH of uh, Linux boxes. So today we have two machines, one uh, both both machines are Linux and one is on hosted on public and another one is hosted on private, right? So we will uh, uh, break the password using three tools and uh, actually today uh, it's, it's password cracking using Hydra and we will also crack passwords using Hashcat and John the Ripper, right? So I will explain the scenarios how you can, uh, you know, exploit or break into the passwords. So let's, let's uh, dive into this. So very first thing we will start with public IP, right? So here we are considering, so we have one scenario right here. So we are considering uh, this public IP already have SSH, right? And SSH enabled. And let's let's try to uh, log log into or uh, log into this machine using SSH. But here's, here we are considering we don't know the password and username, right? So right now, so let's let's try with random username. Let's try with root and we have ip address which is this one let me copy this and we will paste here and then it should ask us for cipher exchanging then it should ask for password so let's let's type random passwords so i'm typing one two three four five it will not visible in your terminal but yes i'm typing so again it is wrong password let's type one two three it should throw error, right? And I am again uh, with a, uh, trying a null password, which is blank password, right? So it is saying after three uh, unsuccessful attempts, it is throwing us to the terminal uh, and, and saying permission denied, right? So it means we don't know the username and password. We have wrong credentials. Uh, so that's why we are not able to log into this machine, right? So now, Let's let's break into uh, this SSH for username and password. For that, we have very good tool in Kali Linux, which is known as Hydra. So if I just type Hydra and press enter, let me little bit zoom in, and you can see we have lots of lots of uh, you know options, and we have syntax for uh, initiate our attack. So here you can see hyphen L, hyphen L file, small, right? Then we have uh, hyphen P, which is small P. It is only for password and hyphen capital P, which is for file, right? And multiple uh, other options there also. So if you really want to, uh, you know, deep dive into this high track, so you can follow the official documentation from their website, or you can just type man Hydra in Kali Linux box, box which is for uh, manual for Hydra uh, tool, right? or you can uh, or you can follow my channel so we will uh, in future video videos i will make a deep dive uh, video on hydra right. so let's say uh, so here you can see we have this is a syntax a basic syntax to run a, a normal user a brute force attack so small l for user if you already have the username then you uh, type just hyphen l and the username and define the username then hyphen capital p which you need to uh, pass the password a text word list or dictionary 
to crack the password and then you need to ident uh, define the service right so in our case we don't know any username and any password but we know there's a ssh server service is running on on that particular website right or port, uh, ip address so let's type hydra right and i'll go for capital hyphen capital l hyphen capital l capital l for we need to you know uh, provide a word list for username so we are so you can use any word list but i have a very com i'm using a customized word list to reduce the time right so it is slab so we can use a short word list we can say so it is in word list and if you uh, press enter you can see there are lots of lots of uh, word list uh, for the password and username right so i'll go for the reason and then i'll go for ssh user text right so then i will type hyphen capital p it is for again for the password common passwords so i'll again use one uh, customized word list word list reason and ssh passwords right and uh, then i will we need to uh, you know provide a service we have ssh service we are uh, actually attacking ssh service then colon uh, double forward slash and we will copy the ip address and we need to provide this here okay and we just press enter so let's let's see it will take uh, two or three minutes or five minutes and it's all totally depends upon your word list so here you can see it will there are 63 login tries it will use 63 logins so how it is counting so here for l l for user list right it it has seven user usernames within this ssh user and for p it is password list it has nine entries right so it is performing some kind of type of combination and permutation and tries 63 logins right so here we can see uh, we got a successful uh, you know hit so you can see 22 is a port number of ssh and ssh is running service then we have a host and then we have a login name which is ubuntu and password is password right so let's let's uh, try to log in in this uh, ip address using uh, crack passwords right ssh so our username is ubuntu ubuntu at date then ip address and we will press enter and it asks for the password let me copy this password here copy and paste paste clipboard i'll also copy this password in our file right so we will say cra uh, cracked or ssh password cracked using hydra okay now so here you can see we are successfully logging into the machine and if i type who am i so we are able to see we are rebuntu so so this is how you can you know uh, we can actually exploit or break into the passwords of particular web service ssh right so now uh, this uh, now we will discuss one more scenario so let's suppose uh, you already have a username and password right or you create a password using uh, brute force using hydra and you got a normal user or low level user credentials right so now we have uh, low level user credentials so there is one more thing uh, password or hash cracking right so what is hash cracking actually so i believe uh, when when you you know uh, type your password in your websites in sss server and any or your when you are logging into your windows or linux box that time uh, the password is not saving in the databases in plain text so it will use some type of encryption or hashing to store those passwords in the databases right so now uh, we are say uh, supposing that we already uh, get the password username and password or credentials for a user within the targeted box and now we are in that box right or someone during your assessment or penetration testing assessment you got uh, access from client 
uh, for normal user and he just logged into into the system and give it to you and now you have a, a, a good challenge which we can say you need don't know the password actually of particular username right so now we need to crack the password for that thing right so you you can also you know perform some kind of uh, you can add or change the password if you have pseudo permissions right but sometime it's not possible to create a username pass new user within the linux uh, some kind due to some kind of you know uh, restrictions so let's suppose uh, we are considering here uh, this user this ubuntu user also have a root user group permissions right so you know in the linux box or linux machines the password for a particular user is saving in a uh, file named as shadow right so that that file is stored in cat in etc folder and shadow if we try to read that file using this user ubuntu we are not able to access that machine right so let's try try with the sudo so we are considering we are we have you know actually access or this user ubuntu have access is a part of a root user group right and we type and hit enter and here you can see we got the shadow file content so here you can see we have username root and then we have some kind of uh, hash or some kind of value which is encrypted so this is the password actually for root user right and then we also have a uh, ubuntu user and the password in encrypted form right here here you can see so now let's copy we we need to crack these passwords actually right so if you have low level user and you are able to read the shadow file then how you can or how we can actually crack the passwords so let's save this file into a file uh, on your local system let me little bit zoom in uh, let's go to desktop i am creating a new directory here you make directory let's say p crack cdp crack and i'm creating a file nano uh, which is a shadow or we can say public shadow so it is a public uh, ip address so it we will write it as a public shadow for you know for further reference and we save it so now we have let's try to you know read the content of the file is it same yes it is saved so now we have the hashes of particular user within the linux using shadow file so now we need to break or crack this uh, these passwords so we have very good tool one more tool within linux kali linux it is john the reaper right so so it is very simple to use just type john so if you type john you can see uh, the also you can see the uses or syntax we need to provide john then options and password if you really want to learn the john then i'll again make a video depth video on john or you can just type man john or you can follow the official documentation from uh, their website right so let's type so how to crack the password john and our shadow file which is public shadow and just type the format equal to crypt so why we are typing crypt so we don't know the hash type right so the hash type means the password which is saved in that shadow file the encrypted uh, data we don't know the type of hash right so if you don't know the about about that that hash what type of that hash is using then just type john and give the content of the shadow file and just type format hyphen equal to crypt it will automatically detect the hash and uh, decrypt the password for you and we hit the press enter so it is saying loaded password okay so why it is showing because uh, sometimes you also feel uh, face this issue so this is reason behind uh, there are there is some uh, pot file which is already have this type of cracked password hashes so we need to remove that so how you can remove that go to that uh, your directory and then you need to go to uh, john where it is yeah dot john and you need to remove this pot file okay so i'm also removing this log file and closing our browser and then again type hit enter and you can see we are able to 
run the command right successfully so it will also take 5 or 10 minutes and it's totally depends upon your uh, dictionaries and passwords by default it will select a dictionary password dot list uh, within within its uh, available in database so we need to wait for some time let's let's uh, wait for uh, some time and it is saying almost done okay so here you can see it used a word list user share john password list and we got the password for ubuntu user and also got the password for root password right so these are the same passwords actually so this is a one way how you can uh, crack the hashes right so now uh, let's uh, again we will perform uh, attack on this public private IP so let's mark it as a done right so now our target is the, this private IP right so we are again considering we don't have any idea about uh, username and password of this private IP address SSH so again we will use Hydra so the uh, command with the Hydra Hydra hyphen L user share word list then again my uh, customized uh, word list ssh users and then hyphen capital fee for user password list user share word list and customize list path ssh password right and then we need to provide the service and the ip address so which is 192.168.17.11.3 right and we hit press enter again it will perform 63 login tries and let's wait for a moment until it it cracked the password and shows us the results so now uh, we uh, till the time it's com get gets completed uh, so now we till now we have learned hydra and uh, the john john the reaper right so here you can see we got the username and password msf admin and password is also msf admin right so now let's again uh, try to SSH in this server msf admin at the date the IP address and press enter then we type password msf admin and here you can see we got the who am I we are into the box so now again let's try to read the file or shadow file cat etc shadow so it again permission denied so now we will type sudo and it is asking for admin password so it is msf admin so now we copy this uh, content of the file so right now i'm saving this file uh, content within a new file name so now we will uh, you know if you have an idea about the hash or your john uh, john the reaper is not working so actually in you know when during your penetration testing it is good to know uh, know about multiple tools for one task so we used john the reaper but now right now we also try to learn about hashcat so hashcat is a very powerful tool actually it it uses your gpu power to break crack the password hashes so and it it is little uh, working of the hashcat is a little different from uh, we can say john the reaper so in the john the reaper we we don't need to you know uh, provide separate hashes or anything else we just provide the content of whole shadow file and it, it cracked the password right but sometimes john the reaper is not uh, will not work or you you uh, you face some issues during your penetration assessment then you need to have alternate which is hashcat right so in hashcat you need to provide actually single single hashes right so you can use uh, do it with various uh, commands but try uh, i am here using only manual method right so nano i am again typing here hash uh, let's let's say hashes ms or we can say private hashes right and we'll go to our the content of the shadow file which we have copied so just copy this till this uh, before the colon this is our password hash and we will paste here 
and then we have this this one copy this so you can copy and paste uh, as much as uh, fashes what you want to you know uh, want to crack and we have this one also let's try with these three or let's let's again copy this one also right so when we are discussing about hashcat so it is very mandatory in hashcat to know about the type of hash right so it is not like that you just provide the uh, hash hash values and it will automatically detect, detect the type of hash it, it is it will not work like that so you need to identify the hashes so with the very first method which i use uh, for to identify the hash we will uh, let's save this one very first thing and type cat private and we have the hashes right so now we'll copy any hash and we have very good tool in kali linux uh, to identify the hashes which is hash identifier hash identifier and we press enter uh, and it is as, uh, asking for hashes so let's feed this hash which we have copied and press enter so here you can see we got the possible hashes md5 unix right so we have md5 unix hash type of hash right this is md5 unix hash so you need to carefully uh, identify the hash another way you can uh, figure it out it on online or google you can use it to identify the hash so now uh, just type hashcat to check what is the uh, you know syntax but for that you need to type man hashcat actually or you can just type hashcat to check the manual hyphen hyphen help So here we can see this is a lot of lot of you know detailed help which is provided by Hercat using hyphen hyphen help. So you can see this is you need to type hyphen m for hash type. Then you have to type hyphen a for attack mode. Attack mode. Uh, you can see we will check the hash mode, attack mode, and all below down right. So for that I'll go for man. Hashcat, which is manual for Hashcat, right? So you can see, uh, we can see hyphen A attack mode, which is uh, it it will type below, and we have hyphen M. Then just go below, and we can see, right? Attack modes. So these are permutation attack modes. These are these are the types which you can use, or uh, then we have debug mode, built-in characters. So see you can see hashcat is very very powerful tool you can do lo lot of things with this but it also you know uh, consume your gpu power actually so you need a very if you have a hash which which can which you need think you should crack it then you use hashcat with the dedicated U gpu device right so now you can see attack mode zero straight one combination three for brute force six for hydra so we'll use straight mode we because we have the hashes we don't need to brute force anything and then we need to identify the hash type so you can see zero is md5 but this is not our type hash because our type hash type was md5 uh, unix right so we will search that in the in the manual so what is the number of the that thing so if we go here so here you can see this is 500 md5 unix right now let's uh, quit from here and we'll type hashcat hyphen a a for attack mode we will go for zero which is straightforward attack we don't need to run brute force and all then we'll type hyphen m m for the type of hash 500 and then we uh, use our that we will uh, we will try to save the output of this hashcat values hyphen o and i go for crack or before that we need to go for cd desktop because our that private file is there we crack ls okay where is our file i lost it okay yeah private in, in that root right so we will uh, type hashcat 
hyphen a zero for straightforward tag hyphen m for type of hash which is 500 md5 unix we identify using identify ident hash identifier and then we will type hyphen o which is output for this i will use crack.txt our all the result will saved in saved in this crack.txt and then we will uh, feed the file in which we have copied which we have copied the hashes from shadow file and then we need to provide the directory or word list actually user share word list and again i go for my uh, customize ssh or word list you can use any one and we'll type and hit enter and it will take a moment and here you can see it it shows a success message and we'll type ls so you can see we have crack.txt file here right so if we go for cat crack.txt so you can see we have the password msf admin right so this is how you can uh, or you know we can crack the passwords using hydra hashcat john and we can also identify the hashes you within kali linux using a hash identifier right so today we learn four tools uh, three for the password crack password cracking and uh, one for the hash identifier right within the linux kali linux so thank you guys if you uh, uh, like my video and if you feel this information is you know useful for you please do like subscribe and share my channel uh, and also comment below uh, which type of videos you really want to see or should we continue for this uh, hydra hashcat and uh, such type of tools in de in depth videos so just just let me know uh, i will uh, create a videos thank you